and everybody trusting you enjoyed the squats and trusting that your, your legs are at least warm and trusting that the, the core is starting to, to build up a bit of heat. So the best way to, to exercise is one where you provide some thought to it. All right? So what kind of fruits is your exercise bearing? If your exercises are bearing ill fruits, then that means you've got an ill-considered approach to what you're doing. So as I understand it in jiu-jitsu, in exercise, in life, what we're looking for is maximum efficiency. If you're working in an inefficient system, that is the result that you will get in everything. Right? It's like the seed. You can't plant an apple seed and get an orange tree out of it. You can't plant a, a bad seed and get good fruit out of that tree. Right? So make sure that whatever you're doing, you're maximizing, you're providing critical thought to, to whatever you're doing to get the best possible result. Right? There's no point in, in working three times as hard to get half of your result. Right? Work at your 100%, work at what you're capable of doing, and, and do it smart to get the most efficient result. So today I'm going to combo up, I'm going to combine skipping with burpees, just because they're two, two really nice exercises to put together. The skipping gets the heart rate up, it gets the, the breathing going, it's a high intensity exercise. Burpees is a slightly lower intensity exercise, but it requires mental discipline, physical discipline to grind your way through. It's just one at a time. Right, so remember that your, what you show in your life, that is a result of your habits, that is the result of your disciplines, that is the result of your choices. So have a look at your life and ask yourself, be honest with yourself, do you like what you see? Do you like the results of your life? Do you like the results of, of the work you've put in? Right, if not, make a change. Don't keep doing the same thing over and over. Einstein said that the, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Right, so mix things up, change things up. Don't be afraid to change. One of the scariest things that, or one of the things that scares me the most is change. Right? I like my routine, I like things settled the way they are. One of the things that Jiu-Jitsu has taught me though is that you can't have everything your way, you can't have everything the same way, because it, life is dynamic, life, life keeps evolving. We need to adapt, we need to be okay with change management. So don't be, don't be afraid to mix your routine up. It doesn't have to be the exact same way every single day. Mix it up, keep it efficient, whatever you're doing, provide thought to it. Don't let your mind wander off somewhere else. Make sure that what you're doing, your mind is focused here and now with a mind-body connection. So grab your skipping rope, grab a, a belt or something that you're going to skip over. And simply the idea is 150 skips and then we're going to go straight into the 15 burpees as well. Alright, so grab the rope and let's get going. we go straight on into burpees. So remember, burpees don't have to be hectic hardcore, they don't have to be high intensity, but just keep an even pace throughout. See if you can do them without stopping. It doesn't have to be fast, but they do have to be consistent. Right, 15 burpees.
Olympics. up as much as possible so it's the same way when I squat I don't turbocharge all of them it's just one at a time but I try to keep it as consistent as possible I don't stop halfway to take a break so it's all an old saying I heard is if you get tired during exercise learn not to stop but learn how to rest properly all right so if you're busy squatting and you're tired learn how to rest down over here if you're, if you're doing burpees and you're tired Learn how to rest for just a split second between each one. That's called learning how to pace yourself. That's the difference between a sprint and a marathon. So make sure you have stamina, make sure you have tenacity. Because like I've said before, tenacity trumps talent every day of the week. All right, if you have the hunger in you to be better and you're driving every day to be better, that will trump natural talent any day of the week. Somebody that has natural talent but no hunger, no drive, no fire, it's not gonna get them very far. Right? I'm not naturally talented at sports. I'm not naturally talented at exercising. It's something though that I'm tenacious about. It's something that every single day, I will grind away at. Right? I will always do one more than somebody else. I will do the same workout, plus one more. There's always that extra one, that extra mile that takes you where you need to be. Right? If you're willing to do one more than everybody else, then you deserve to get one more than everybody else. So keep your body working hard, keep your mind sharp, make sure that you, you're messing your routines up, don't let your body fall into a certain, into a certain pattern and a certain rhythm, don't let your body get lazy with what you're doing, keep mixing it up to keep your body guessing. Have an excellent day and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more.